now moving on to the next session i would like to invite uh, uh, sri jogendra singh ji to come over the, on the dais chief guests madam anita patnagar jain ji director of the institution dr prajot mr das madam swarnika shri ravi kumar ji ladies and gentlemen I must confess that I was foxed when Ravi Kumar ji sent me an email inviting me for Indian translation as a translations con conference. So I sent him a mail. This is not my cup of tea. So he said, "No, you just think over it because the role of translation, what it is." And I said, "Okay, give me a day." I thought over it. I said, "Yes." It's worthwhile reading. When I looked into my own books, I found that uh, my publisher, at least one of them, had brought it into Bengali, Tamil, Gujarati, Marathi, apart from Hindi and Punjabi. And these Indian languages, I wanted to bring it at least in twelve Indian languages. and by looking at my copies of the books i also found that one of them had been translated in bhasha indonesia as well as in malaysia so it set me thinking here yeah how languages can unite india because those of you who are coming from single language countries like the usa uk spain or italy may not appreciate this translation is something which has played tremendous part in uniting india i went to iran in 1973 along with my then minister who became chief minister of karnataka later on jet gundur rao and we were speaking in english so an iranian said here ke are you not both from india i said yes she said why, why, why are you speaking in english why not in your mother tongue I said, look, my mother tongue and his mother tongue is entirely different. So English is the united language is here. <laughs> Fortunately, though we have not become great translators, but we have learned the languages as a part of the cultural uh, allotment. To whatever state you are allotted, you know there is about. Uh, Six, six, seven thousand IPS, IAS officers, about four thousand IPS officers in the country. You do not necessarily serve in, the, in your own state. You can be allocated to any state. <laughs> Madam Anita Padnagar Jayanti is lucky because she is in Hindi speaking state and she is Hindi speaking herself. And sometimes the mistakes committed can be quite helpful. I happened to represent Punjab University in a youth festival. in the then mysore state it was so beautiful i didn't understand a word of the language we were speaking i could not even relish the food forget about anything so i was just becoming eligible for the indian police service at the age of 20 i came back as a student i filled in my form and as a joke i said what state you like to serve Not UP, not Punjab, not anything. But I said Mysore. So I said, who gets selected as students just immediately after the graduation? But I made it, and lo and behold, I was elected to Karnataka, and uh, Mysore became Karnataka later on. And one of the things I found was that I had to learn the local language because you have to deal with the local people. It is not that you sit in the Income tax and you deal with or railways or something like that. You have to deal with local people. Hell of a difficult job because those people who are at least from Hindi speaking belt may not feel uncomfortable. You couldn't even ask for a glass of water or even the food. But whether one liked it or not, one had to start with the basic things. And in police. 
I think I asked the person, tell me what are the abusing languages so that I know who's abusing me. <laughs> I, I know that. And there is a tale behind it also. There is a Parsi professor in my college. And Punjabi boys, I think boys everywhere are a little mischievous. So they would hurl abuses at him. Mothers, fathers, everything or so. So some, somebody says, what is this in mother, father, sister? He said, they are abusing you. So next day, when a student heard an abuse in Punjabi, he said, good morning, thank you, same to you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's important to know the local, local language. And translation plays a tremendous role in this. Now, I must uh, mention the role of translation in my own life. I had read Gansab, I had read Gita, and I had read Max Muller's remark that this is the greatest book in the world. I could never understand a word. Somebody said Gorakhpur ki Gita, the book published from Gorakhpur is the best. Couldn't make head or tail out of it. Till I went to Calcutta, in Ramakrishna Mission Ashram, I picked up a small booklet, not even booklet, small translation of Gita in English. And that has been my constant companion whenever I travel outside. And it opened a new world to me. But the, whatever translation that Swamiji had done was something tremendous. I said, now let me explore the religions. My mother tongue is Punjabi. I don't know much about it. There must be, there is a tale also which I must share with you. Because you have to, these are some of these delicate issues, you have to treat people with consideration, with love, with affection. That was the end of it. That is, I am not going to study Punjabi at all. No. <laughs> I joined in the did my BA with the Hindi officer here. Of course, class was mine. So when uh, I wanted to read Granth Sahib, I had to learn from somebody else. I realized its greatness only after I read it in English, a translation by Kratar Singh Dugal. So not only for nationalism, but for uniting people, it's vital that Indian translation industry is encouraged. Uh, I would also say here, I must mention to you, that a few words of the language, wherever you go, are absolutely vital. And I, unless I share some of the houses I committed, uh, you would not be able to appreciate it. I led a delegation to Indonesia. And in India, you know, we are used to taking tea with milk. So that uh, it was in uh, Jakarta or somewhere. So when I asked the hotel, he brought tea, black tea. I said, I want the tea with the milk. He didn't understand that. So there was an Englishman, I passing by. Sitting with I said, do you speak Indonesia? Indonesian, he said, yes. I said, please tell him that I want the tea with the milk. Then he said, he said, no, 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 he wants the tea with the susu. <laughs> susu in Indian, Indian language means urine. <laughs> so I, then I picked it up here. What I'm saying here is that even in a humorous sense, if you want to understand the culture of a place, it's better to know something about it. Uh, I was very happy that when Madam mentioned about uh, text-to-speech translation, because I have been using the English version for the last 10 years, more than 10 years. But when in Hernan, then what is spoken in UP, what is in Madhya Pradesh, or in Gujarat or Maharashtra. I write for a number of newspapers, and once I went for a program, some lady approached me, she says, you know, you have very well written this piece. My son has uh, been a regular reader and he's benefited a lot. 
I didn't know who she was. Till at the tea, I met her and then said, uh, Is it not little difficult? Ye mushkil to nahi hai. She said, Nahi, Bipro, cheap. And when I went to Punjab and Arena, my friends asked me, Hindi likhte? What kind of Hindi you write? I said, I don't write. It is the translator who translates because I write everything in English. So, a translator very rightly put here, they don't have much of prospectuses here, but they can be built here. In fact, the United Nations would not exist if it did not have the translators here, who can not only write, who can't only read. Even in our own parliament, people demand and they get the translators on this. Uh, it's also a question of our paying due respect to the translator communities here and to understand each other. After all, we must understand communication is vital. There's no doubt if in one place you could have a data bank of the jobs which are available in the external affairs ministry, in the multinationals, in the educational institution, in the universities here, it will go a long way in promoting the career of the translators here. Uh, there are many more things can be said here, but it's great to have been invited and to be able to address you all. I'm not a technical man, as Madam Data could give you all pairs, double pairs, four pairs, and eight pairs, whatever it is in the year now. But I will definitely go to the site here. Do not expect any feedback from most people, because if you get feedback from 10 people, which is to be practiced for one day and forgotten, the more we able to, are able to understand, the more we are able to communicate. After all, you must understand that communication is basic to everything. While addressing a editor's conference in newspapers, I found that the English newspaper was 11th in the list down below. Above it were the Hindis, the local languages, uh, like the Marathi, like the Kannada, like Telugu and other things also here. So there is a need to build bridges here and there is no better way than to build the bridges through communication, which can be through writing, through paper, through media, through TV channels, and so on. Mr. Ravikumar, thank you very much. God bless you.